Hello and welcome back to the continuation of our tutorial for this uh, picture frame for IMBU. Uh, in this video we are going to continue with the creation of the UV grab and UV mapping of our frame and bookshelf. Uh, as you remember on the last video we have already created the first material for our whole object. Uh, for instance, I want to point out that the creation of this material here, um, it's uh, well with the first with the first creation of the material, this is will automatically be be assigned to the whole um, to the whole product. If we check the select and deselect, you will notice that all the faces from all around the actual object are going to be selected. So what we want here is actually um, have our picture in one um, in one material, um, the bookshelf right in another, the books in another, and the frame finally. Uh, in another. So we are going to count one, two, three, and four materials for this. Uh, so we can apply the actual textures on this um, bookshelf and uh, picture frame. Okay. So for that, we need to, first of all, we have to ungrab this actual picture, the frame, and the books. And the bookshelf in separate UVs. How we are going to do that? Okay, uh, we already have the picture, the the picture on grab it. So that's what we did on the last video. If you are not sure, you just uh, click on the face selection mode here, right? Um, select the front face, as you can see in the back. It's not selected, just the front face where it's supposed to be the picture. Uh, press U and ungrab, and this actual and this will be the actual picture uh, or the UV that we are going to where we are going to drop the picture in. So if you don't like this size, uh, you can go to Image Resize and change the size here for example to 512 and 512 that this is the maximum uh, size that I'm you allowed on the regular client okay so we are going to press OK and that's that it's going to be our canvas where we are going to put the the actual picture that we want okay so uh, next step uh, we are going to do the UV ungrab of our um, frame. So what we need to do here is um, actually uh, try to uh, select everything. So what we are going to do is go into wireframe mode here, um, right here. This is the wireframe um, the wireframe mode you can do it by pressing alt z right and we are right now in the uh, wireframe where you, you will we, you will not see uh, the faces the solid faces we are going to see the transparent and when we do a selection like this Selecting the whole thing, we're going back to the solid view and we click shift click over the front face and we will see that we deselected the frontal face where our picture is and the whole um, frame is selected. Okay, so basically what we did is just un uncheck the actual picture and that's it. Um, next step that we can do 
Uh, actually, yes, yeah, so I want to do this tutorial as a quick tutorial. We are not going to do the manual uh, UV and graph, or actually the UV seams to divide the actual each phase on a on a actual um, on an actual you know separate phase. We are going to just do uh, a smart UV project that it's going to work fine for now. Uh, later on, on another video, I'm going to explain how to use the UV seams, um, you know, to, for you to do the manual unwrapping and creation of the UVs. Okay, so right now, with the, with the whole frame selected and without the frontal, we press U, we go to the smart UV project. And here, here we can change the values, for example, to 75. It's okay. The Eilon margin, it's going to show each phase, right? Each phase is going to be separated by, for example, 150, 0 0.150. And you will see each phase, it's going to be apart from the other. So we hit OK. And you see every um, every face here it separated. Um, as you can see, each face from this from this um, uh, from this UV the UV map uh, it's kind of wide for what we want uh, for a picture frame. As it should be more thin and actually. A little bit more, um, you know, stretched, but uh, we can work fine with that. But if you don't like this so much, uh, you can actually come here and actually change, change. For example, if you press S and then you press Y or X, you can shrink it up a little bit from the sides. And so you will have like a, a more likely um, uh, UV map here. Um, anyways, we can work with this. Um, or if you are not sure, you can go to uh, the UV preferences that it's going to be here. Uh, and you can change the values here. Uh, sometimes, depending on the actual project, sometimes the the values here um, change a little bit. Uh, anyways, we are going to leave it like this. We have our UV and graph for uh, our frame here. Uh, same we are going to do with the bookshelf. Uh, but before we move on to select this, we are going to create another material. Okay, why we are going to create another material. This is going to have more sense once we do it. So we go to the plus, we create a new material tab here. We go to new, right? We are going to name it this frame and then give it a name and a number. So uh, bracket 02 bracket and we are going to assign our selection to our uh, actual material here um, as you can see now if we deselect and select again we are going to have our actually automatic selection from all the frame okay so now books okay we go back to the wireframe mode we select the books. Uh, we don't need to select the inside of it because it's going to be from uh, the actual bookshelf. So yeah, uh, what we are going to do is select the, the whole thing. Uh, we can create now the actual book material. So books 03 close the bracket and assign 
Okay. Um, now we need to ungrab it. So this selection will will have uh, the books in our UV map. Okay. So we go to Smart UV Project, click OK. In each phase of this, uh, I guess this the thin ones are the ones from the the back or maybe maybe the sides um, what else we are going to do the bookshelf now so for this now that we are in the wireframe mode we can hit the seven numpad seven to have the um, you know the, the the actual upper uh, view from from the top um, we are going to hold shift, select the whole thing here. Okay, as you can see, there's uh, the UVs now that we have the selection, they overlap one over the other. So we have the general picture here, the ones from the frame, and our books. So now that we did that, we are going to go to selection here select invert and we have our bookshelf uh, selected so now we can wrap it go to smart uv project okay and we can uh, check this if it makes any any um yeah no it doesn't make any difference for now, it's okay. Maybe maybe in, in the ones that are north that that square that are, it's going to work better. So okay, new material. The this material will be bookshelf. And we assign our selection to this material. Oh. Oh four. Okay, great. So now that we have our four UV maps um, and we have our four um, our four materials here, we can check by deselecting and selecting, right? And we have our separate selections. Okay, this is going to result really really uh, useful for IMBU later. So right now, the next step that we need to do is um, go here to solid view. Uh, we can go to object mode, right? And this next step, this is really important. Uh, this selection, as we have now, we have selected our bookshelf and our frame that are a single object. Um, we have to click this, click the bone here that we have. These are the bones from the furniture rig. Okay. And this is the way this is the way that we can apply the actual rig to the bones here why this is this is the um, actual steps for us to do as first the product then the bones not it cannot be otherwise like first the bone and then the object because when we do the parent this is going to be controlled by this okay so um as you can see, it's uh, orange or light orange selected, and this is like a kind of uh, dark orange. So this means that this is a secondary, this is a secondary uh, selection, and this is the primary. So this is mainly makes sense for Blender users, um, meaning that. 
we need to this bone to be con control this actual um, bookshelf. Okay, this is going to make more sense once we upload it to IMBU because of course we will see a dot, a yellow dot, where we are going to you know place it around a you know a room or something like that. So uh, yeah. Uh, so next step, now that we went to uh, object mode, we selected the frame, then we selected the bones, right? And now we are going to hit Ctrl P and armature the form with empty groups. We are going to select this option okay now the furniture rig uh, let's uh, let's uh, blender knows that this cube or what actually is our frame um, has an armature has a, a bone that controls it and we can check this by for example moving this actual node this actual Amateur and the actual um, uh, picture frame is going to move along with this bone. Okay, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't want to <laughs> be so specific about it. Uh, one thing that I notice is that it's pretty big. It's going to be really big uh, when we upload it. This uh, because if we select the actual bookshelf and we go to item it's around 40 meters uh, long and no wide 40 meters wide and 18 meters uh, you know long so we can shrink it up a little bit like to 15 yeah 15 I guess it's okay Maybe we can scale it a little bit more uh, back on IMBU so it's not that big. But anyways, it's going to work fine. So now uh, we are okay. We have our frames here. We, uh, we have our materials here. We have the parent. Uh, one thing that we didn't do so far is how do I know where to use the UV and graph, the UV maps actually. That we created well simple we just go to for example picture we select the picture we go to UV and we now search for this in the of course in the UV editor right we go to the UV editor go to UV go to export UV layout and we can, for example, well, I'm going to create a new folder with uh, UV maps, right? So here I'm going to um, change it to, for example, picture, okay, size, pi 12, x 5 12, fill opacity, it's going to be the transparency of the picture of the actual uh, UV map. Um, I would set this to 0.5. So yeah, that's it. Uh, just don't click on all the UVs because it's going to overlap one over the other. Uh, even though it says that not just a visible ones. So yeah, you just go to pictures. Uh, what else? You well deselect and select the frame and the same. Uh, for example, here we are going to do it here. This is going to be the frame UV. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is well, I cannot modify the actual. Uh, yeah, frame UV. Okay. Sport, deselect, select. UV, export UV layout, 
is it's going to be the books uh, if you notice uh, now that we already for example exported the first UV map uh, actually what it's what it does uh, it's set the preferences that we used uh, automatically for the next ones so be careful with that if you don't want the same size for example or the same fill opacity uh, for all the UVs maybe you want more solid ones or more uh, trans transparent so you'll figure that out um, this is the bookshelf bookshelf UV okay export UV layout okay good now we have the UVs we have the actual parenting the materials and we just need to um, go back to object mode pressing tab and select the whole thing the bones and the bookshelf or yeah in general go to file export fbx and we can export the fbx here um, we are going to go to with selected objects, clicking the checkbox here. Uh, we apply the unit. We are going to let this scale on 1.0, so it's okay. I rather also apply the transformation uh, modifiers. We don't need that. Uh, add leaf bones, no. And animations, we don't have any animations here. So that's it. Uh, our frame, FBX there. And we are good to go to IMBU. Okay, so now on IMBU, we go to create, we go to derive new product, uh, room and furniture. This is going to be the wall furniture, but also applies to the normal furniture if you want to uh, create, for example, a couch or whatever other pro project uh, to be on the floor. You can use the same, um, the same file we did and apply it to furniture. Uh, the actual furniture wall uh, applies a node that we need so well for now i'm going to use it just for a wall so okay now we go to fbx import go to load fbx and i'm going to search for the frame okay so we have three bones one mesh and we have here our four uh, materials. Uh, the auto, yeah, it's everything is set up. Success and import the changes. Apply the changes, and we have our cute little picture frame here. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. Could be a little bit, I guess it could be a little bit more tinier, but and then we'll work out. Um, and here we can apply, for example, the UV maps that we have. Uh, this is, as you can see here, we have, for example, the O1, the material, 01, picture, 02, frame, 03, books and for bookshelf so we can apply um, this picture if we we can try the actual for example picture from i don't know the desktop uh, i'm going to use uh, maybe this one okay just to apply it and as you can see here it's uh well <laughs> it's upside down but this is a problem with Blender. Blender 
<laughs> mess around with the actual uh, UB ungrab. So what we need to do here is go back to Blender. Um, we select the actual picture, right? Uh, and here on the UB ungrab, right, on the UB editor, we just need to press R. Uh, well, select the select the actual. Uh, you select the the UB, right? Uh, you press R and 180, and you apply the rotation on the UV map. Once you go to file and well, uh, you go you know to object mode select everything and go back again to support the FPX right um, wait what happened uh, and you go to the FPX and export the same application goes and yeah we can delete this this mesh uh, and load it again and you will see uh, the actual oh yeah important yeah the same materials uh, you will see uh, we fixed it just by rotating the actual um, UV map that the actual creation of you know the UV and grabbing uh, can mess up with the <laughs> um, with the UV maps, um, but that's it, guys. Uh, you can apply, for example, the frame and everything else. So you can try it up so before you upload it, of course, because if not, you are going to be in uh, kind of a big of a trouble if you want uh, your um, Wait, we didn't we didn't uh, exported the books uh, UVs. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you don't do this uh, quite right, uh, you might find a kind of a little bit of a trouble with your customers once once they try once they want to try how to figure out uh, how the UV maps work for your um your derivable products okay so okay guys uh i hope you like it i try to be as you know as fast as i uh <laughs> and as a, as fast and as simple as as i could get to for you to understand the actual uvu mapping of this um but if you have any doubts, leave a comment or I'm going to reply it as fast as I can. And well, if you have any doubts in general, you can search me on Discord or uh, on IndyU.